So utilizing that pace, pause, and 10 and 2, once you've begun to practice your fly cast, you'll note that there is quite a lot of pause, far more than you might consider before starting in the opposite direction. But as you can see, I've got quite a bit of line out, and I'm letting the line do the work. Remember, if you're moving your, your wrist and your arm uh, very gently, you're still going to get the end of your rod to move quite a bit more. So uh, let the rod do the work for you. Pace, pause, 10 and 2, the quiet left hand. All right. And really, um, just remember that the line is unfurling completely before you start casting in the other direction. And uh, you just relaxedly let it rip. All right, everybody. Now it's time to learn about a couple of troubleshooting items. Just take care of a few things that a lot of people struggle with when beginning to cast. Um, the, the first thing is dealing with... Uh, speed of the rod and the angle of the rod. If you're not doing your 10 and 2, what happens is your line is going to be crumpling up in front of you and behind you. And if your line crumples in either one of these, you're going to lose distance, pacing, speed. Everything depends on a very crisp 10 and 2. So 10 and 2 just being very short. Your fly line should stay aloft in a tight loop. Okay. The next thing uh, I want to talk about is overpowering your cast on the final forward casting motion. All right, this problem is one where people will false cast, they'll false cast, they'll false cast, and then they'll really try to, uh, they'll try to really huck it out there, okay? And that is going to completely destroy your timing. Number one, that's going to cause an early motion of your forward cast. And what that does is it hasn't given your back cast a chance to fully load. Okay, when you haven't given your back cast a chance to load, you're not going to get very much distance in your cast. So, when you're oh, when you're uh, finally ready to shoot that line and get your final cast moving in that forward motion, very very important to just remain calm and go slowly and wait. So wait for your final cast. This is a good spot to demonstrate a particular kind of cast where you're trying to hit a stretch and there's a current flowing through it and you want to get the fly out there so that the current doesn't rip the uh, fly through the water so you want to give the fly a bit of a head start and I'm right handed and the current is uh, headed down into my right hand if you will and so I can reach the rod up like this in such a way that the line will land behind the fly and the fly will then have a chance to naturally float through the current um, without being ripped by the line. So I just cast, get a good regular cast going, and then when I drop the line, it's kind of a reach out there to get the line just a little upstream from the fly.